Hey guys, if you didn't already catch the announcement, Valguero just got announced as an official map, which is coming at some point. I don't really know when. We'll find out later on today, and I'll try to keep you guys posted, but... We're gonna check out the trailer, and uh, first of all, I'm gonna let it play in full length for you guys, and then we're gonna break it down a little bit. I'm gonna like point out some things I spotted in it, and we're gonna just talk a little bit about it as well. So guys, make sure that you hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. But I should mention, this is a map made by some modders, and honestly, I've taken a look at it. It's fantastic. The whole map looks really, really cool, and I'm really excited for it. And the Denonicus, whatever it's pronounced, that is actually coming in this map, probably as an exclusive creature, similar to the way that the Griffin came on Ragnarok. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys watch this trailer. So it's an awesome trailer let's get going um we're just gonna go ahead and just turn that down a little bit so just just it just starts off with a bunch of shots from the map it's a beautiful map honestly really excited for it uh if you've actually checked out the map in its current mod form i do believe that's a few months behind so what you'll see in the mod right now is not what we're getting probably later today or whenever that's coming um so that's something i should note because he hasn't actually updated it in months but he has worked on it uh, for several months since then but right here is actually the wyvern trench and i do believe that you can only get ice wyverns in this part of the trench there's like a lower section where you can get all the other types so right now you can just see a bunch of ice wyverns super awesome location by the way i checked it out um now this map actually has this type of area right here which i do believe is called like the white cliffs or the chalk cliffs or something uh it's it honestly it kind of reminds me of the canyons but less vertical um it's just these giant white cliffs and it's like very white and green and it's really bright and beautiful and there's tons of really flat spots to build a couple little hidden caves around the place really awesome spot lots of waterfalls on this map by the way and rivers um right here is just part of the redwoods right now and you can see they built up some stuff for a little thingy here the tech creatures do spawn on this map nice so another shot right here um this is over by the blue obelisk so you're kind of getting into some of the snowy region over there but from right here this shot is in the redwoods um lots of waterfalls just everywhere more more shots of the white cliffs here griffin spawn on this map wyvern spawn on this map rock drake spawn on this map oh there we go that is the denonicus whatever i don't know how to pronounce it there's several ways that people be telling me but i'm just gonna probably pronounce it that way um, but that's the Denonicus. It looks so cool. Honestly, it reminds me of like a mini rock drake, and you'll see why in a few minutes. So it has like a little roar, like a Uteranus, and bam! A little ambush here. As you can see, they latch onto the side of a Rex, and I don't think that the Rex is going to be able to bite them off of it, but we'll have to wait and see. It looks like you might have to hop off with your weapons and shoot at the Rex, or not the Rex, the Denonicus, when they're, when they're jumping on, but... As you can see, uh, they have some awesome looking colors on them, like purples and oranges and like kind of blues almost as well. Um, and you can see the animations there look so cool and look at their crazy claws. They're actually a lot bigger than I thought as well. Let's just take another look at that. Oh, let's go from before that. So you can see they're, they're actually like relatively big and I don't believe that they're rideable because they're not shown to be rideable at any point during this trailer. But they're, they're honestly quite big. 
bigger than a human, but probably not big enough to ride on. Uh, so right here is a shot of the aberration area. Yes, there's an aberration area on this map. It's a giant cave system below the map, which is really cool. And uh, it's got all of the stuff. Um, I don't think it has a bioluminescent area, but I do believe it has a radiation area. And then this kind of like foresty area, whatever the hell this was called, the fertile forest or something. So you can see there's a player just climbing up some crystals there. Uh, and then right there, you can see you're kind of getting into some of the radiation -y area. Uh, the same stuff that you'll see on aberration near the rock drakes. So one thing I got to say is it's really exciting to actually have rock drakes on a map that's not uh, just aberration. And I hope that it's going to be just as difficult to get the eggs on this map uh, that it is on aberration. But we'll have to wait and see because this right now I do not believe is even in the mod. Uh, the area is kind of there, but not all of it's there. Um, so that's really cool. So just another shot of the actual rock drake trench it seems like uh because it looks very similar to what the trenches look like on aberration but um just so like bright and beautiful like all this crystal and every and everything everywhere it just looks really cool uh right here uh this is something to note some of the trees glow in the dark on this map which is really cool but this is one of the uh cave entrances the little dungeons and at the very end you'll get an artifact but this one i've actually checked out myself it's really cool so you'll see just this is all from the same cave by the way you gotta like drop down it's gonna be crazy and then that's where the artifact is although i do believe on the mod right now this isn't the artifact of the hunter but for some reason it's now the brute so either they've changed it or there's two artifacts in the cave we'll have to wait and see but yeah you can see there's ravagers as well that guy's on a ravager uh that shot right there right here is interesting if you know anything about this map you'll know that there is a mechanic on this map where you can get wild rg eggs and they're supposed to have like a big purple glow around them kind of like a purple face the ones that you can get the eggs from um so i'm interested to see if they're going to keep that mechanic in the official map but that's something that you can do in the modded map right now and i'd be very curious to see if they're going to keep that i hope that they do because that's just really cool like going and stealing a wild rg egg i mean it makes a lot of sense that you could possibly do that but um yeah, I don't know. That could open up the, the gate to tons of, like, wild nests everywhere for every single creature. And, like, a cool way of getting those creatures instead of just taming. Obviously, raising a creature is a little bit harder than taming one. Um, But, yeah, right here you can see a little bit of a cliff of the... Clip? Or, not cliff. A clip of the Denonicus jumping onto the side of a cliff. So, they can probably climb somewhat similar to the Rock Drake, but it seems to just fall straight off. So, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, this is an underwater cave thing. You can see a wreck statue. A couple of the runes around the map. This map has tons of runes, by the way. It's really awesome and like pathways between them. And it's it's so cool to run around on. Uh, right here, you can see the Denonicus. For some reason, its feathers look a little bit weird here. It kind of looks a little bit odd. Although, yeah, maybe it just has little tiny black feathers with like white tips on them. It just looks odd from a distance. But you can see they've got like a little thing here. It's got like an ambush attack, as you can see. It kind of pins down the player. Let's watch that again. So you can see it's got the player pinned down, and it's massive compared to the player. So I really hope that you can ride on them, but I don't. I feel like you might not be able to. I don't know. I just I kind of feel like you can't. But they they look really cool. I I'm so excited to check out the Denonicus. Uh, right here, there's a cave in this map that it's a giant like spider cave and it's got like the toxic gas similar to the swamp cave on the island. And it seems like a broodmother spawns here. I don't know what that's all about. I don't think that that was in the mod. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, this is kind of crazy. Uh, you can see a bunch of like creatures all like webbed up and everything. So broodmother, cool. Uh, this is an ice wyvern here, I do believe. And this is the lower part of the trench where you can get all the other eggs. This trench, by the way, is going to be crazy because um, I've taken a look at it and it looks like it's going to be really hard to get into and out of, especially out of with your eggs because of the way that it's designed. So it's going to be a serious challenge for just any like arc player, I would say, just based on how you get in and stuff right here. This is interesting because I've flown around this whole map and I do not recognize any of this. This area, I do believe, is the boss arena which means that the bosses are going to be a dragon manticore combo like what we have on Ragnarok. Um, on the center, we have like a Broodmother and Megapithic and Megapithicus combo. We have those two together on on the uh, whatever it's called, the center. So on Ragnarok, you have these two. And on here, it seems like you have these two as well, which is 
I mean, that's okay. I kind of don't like fighting the Manticore, though, on Ragnarok, because as you guys know, there's a bug where it just, it doesn't land at all, so you can't even hit it with your creatures, but I do believe that this is the boss arena, and this is going to be a nice change for a boss arena, because it's so bright and beautiful looking. But, uh, yeah, you can see some runes and stuff here. Um, it could be a cave with them at the end, we don't know, or it could just be a full-on boss arena. So, super cool looking. Right here you can see, this is a Denonicus uh, nest right here. Um, you can see some of the babies there. Let's actually just hit it again so you can see him a little bit more clear. It's massive, it seriously is, and look at the freaking tail on it. So, um, they revealed with the Denonicus that it's gonna be a creature that you can't tame, but you can steal its eggs and raise its young. Uh, it's going to be very territorial around nests, though, probably because, you know, it's it's going to be a decently good creature, and all the other creatures that you steal, like, wild eggs from, like, wyverns and rock drakes are all pretty territorial as well, so you might get swarmed if you grab one of these, or if you're near it in general. But, um, yeah, that's how you get them. You can see there's a human skull here. That's crazy looking. Um, but there's the baby ones. They look so cute. And that's the end of it. Uh, that is the end of the trailer. It's got a custom logo as well, which is really interesting. I'm happy about that. Uh, honestly, this whole map and everything that's like put into it, like the exclusive creature, just everything about it that I'm seeing so far looks great. And they're going to probably be doing some more reveals later on today. They're doing a stream over on Twitch. So I'm really excited for that. But uh, yeah, that's the whole trailer, guys. If you want to watch it, you can just scroll back to the start or go over to the ARC YouTube channel. Um, yeah, that's it. What do you guys think? Obviously, I'm going to be doing a massive series on this on this uh, map. We're going to start a brand new series, and we're going to probably also add it to our cluster as well, so we can have uh, two of those maps. We're going to have one separate and one in the cluster. But uh, I'm super excited to check out all the new stuff that comes with this. And uh, yeah, so subscribe if you guys want to see any of that. But yeah, this has just been a quick video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And uh, show some support over to the, to the mod dev on Twitter. Um, if you guys are like excited about this map because honestly he did a great job. It looks fantastic Just everything about it Like look at that. It's just massive and it's beautiful. Oh one more thing I should mention it doesn't have uh, Water surrounding it like other maps do like Ragnarok It's uh, it's got water in the center, but it's not a huge amount and uh, It's surrounded by like mountains and like a world border on those mountains in case you're curious because they didn't really show a huge amount of like the map from above so that's what we've got on this map. So some of those giant mountains in the background are probably not uh, all actually real. Like, uh, I don't know if I can find a shot of that again. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, you get my point. We'll catch you later.